Hello and welcome to yet again another perfected edition. My name is the Olympian. Some of you might know me as the leaner wiener, Olympianus, with the Venus, and of course the meanest of six inches. Now, if you're not familiar with TLC, tables, ladders, and chairs, allow me to introduce them. All right, these guys they don't play. Right, we have a bit of a love-hate relationship. To be honest, every video I did got. I declaimed, man, it's tough. It's tough out here for a pimp. They claiming everything, boy. They don't play. They don't mess around. Take some. So yeah, we're gonna look at this video. Because you know me, boy. I'm the Olympian. And we always go for gold, boy. In this video, 41-year-old virgin, we're gonna put her to the test. Oops, I kind of forgot to have sex. Whoopsie, whoopsie. That's not a whoopsie. Alright, let me tell you something about being a whoopsie. Forgetting to take out the trash, Cray. Come on, Cray. Cray. Come on, Cray. That's forgetting. Alright? Now, looking at you. Every day you wake up, you see yourself in the mirror. And you see that glorious mushroom tip. There's no way that you can forget. You'll be thinking wieners all day. I feel like my virginity is not a choice. So much as it is a, um, an afterthought. Now, for everyone who knows the Olympian, knows that I am a full-blown idiot, alright? Leave no doubt. Alright, that's just me, alright? It makes me feel good to be a part of, you know, be a part of the cool club, you know? Obviously, you can see her. She's she's one of the greats. I mean, she's looking like a nerd, you know? So, I would assume that she's a highly trained intellectual, alright? But let's put it to the test. She said, alright guys, it's not my choice. It's not my choice, guys. Believe me when I say it's not my choice. If it was up to me, I would be gallivanting on every wiener, alright? And then she said, no, it's more like an afterthought, you know, <laughs> like, pfft, like, yeah. Like, what you talking about? You being in the grocery store, picking up fruits, apples, and all that type of stuff, and then you think, oh shit, I need to get that wiener standing in aisle six. She's coming home later on, and her mother's asking her, oh, I see you got the, I see you got the fruits, you know, the cranberry sauce and all that good stuff, but where's the wiener? There's no wiener. And then she's just blushing, like, oh, it was more like an afterthought, <laughs> right? I've only kissed two men. I have never seen a man naked. <laughs> Come on, Cray. Like, stop the cap. Like, seriously, stop the cap. You have kissed the whole of two dudes, and you have not even seen one naked? What? You must be the worst kisser to have ever graced this piece of dust we call Earth. Now, as the Olympian, when I kiss a girl much like yourself, all right, then I have a problem, all right? My belt, my belt is, you know, it's hurting me. I need to get that off, all right? I need to get that off. Then all of a sudden, I have an allergy. For lavender, all right, then the shirt needs to go, you know, whatever, and socks, whatever needs to go. So you would see me naked in 0 0.1 seconds. But then again, not everyone is as great as me. I tried to have a relationship and um, it, it was such a big deal. Oh, now you're going to get scared, huh? And the kiss, you know, kissing at the end of the night, I was so scared. I, I, I literally threw up like the second time or second date and the third date. But almost the whole time. I don't know how I ate dinner. Hey, listen, calm down, baby girl. All right, listen, it's okay. It's okay to have a phobia for the shaft. All right, it's okay. You know what I'm saying? You probably see me rocking that six inch. Shit. I mean, you'd probably run away crying. All right. <laughs> I'm not trying to be inducted into the Perf Hall of Fame. All right. Going there to meetings and shit. These perfect meetings. You know, like Perv Anonymous, you have to sit around the table and talk why you're here, what you've done. Hi, y'all, I'm the Olympian. Hello, Olympian. Yeah, so what happened was that I was sitting in a park, and then I showed my shaft to this young lady. She actually threw up right in front of me and proceeded to run and cry. Police were standing on standby, not so far. He came and he asked, what you doing? I said, I just, I'm done diddle do, showed my shaft to this lovely lady. And he asked, why? I said, because she wanted to see it. Because she wanted it, man. Turns out to be six inches as a certified weapon of mass destruction. But also, when she was running, she was screaming, saying that this is the finest thing she's ever seen in her life. I don't know how would that stand up in court. I don't know how I ate dinner. I just need to take this really slow. <laughs> I haven't set it up in my head that the first time has to be perfect. Ugh. To me, it's sort of like having an extra toe or something. I just want to cut it off and just move on. 
Wow. I mean, I never thought about it like that. Virginity is being an extra toe that you got to cut it off. Right? Um, I, I, that is weird, man. Virginity is a gift. All right? Don't cut off gifts. All right? But by the way, man, since we're on that note, you and George R.R. R. Martin have something in common. I'm pretty darn sure the fastest way back to Colorado isn't on horseback. That may be true, but horses have one quality that is unmatched by any other mode of transportation. What's that? Ah! I feel like I'm always hiding this secret. I got the idea to do a coming out party because I just thought it would be a good way to get everybody together and let them know, you know, wow, I'm still a virgin, you know. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. I'm excited, guys. I'm, I can't I can't contain myself. All right, we got the whole squad. We got the whole fam. The whole Olympics. We got them together. I mean, sending out emails to the whole squad, to the whole fam, to come on, let's get it. All right, there has to be some takers. That needs to be a young, handsome... No, scratch that. We want any old, bald-swinging, wrinkled-ass motherfucker will do, boy, because we need to get rid of this V-card. Let's. I mean, I'm excited. Let's see where it goes. So tell me. Okay, well, so you know about the party. I do. The act itself, you know, is scary. I think I'm more afraid of telling someone. The whole point of the party is that I have this big secret. Yes. And I need to reveal to everybody. So I'm kind of like getting my training wheels off by revealing it to you first. Okay. I am completely terrified. So the secret is that even at the age that I am, which is 41, ouch, I am still a virgin. I can completely, completely relate. It, it totally, I understand. I mean, I'm a virgin as well. Damn, that is tough right there. That's what we come to get, to expect from great shows like TLC, right? She comes out, she's got some heavy on her chest, right? She's coming out and she's saying, listen, I'm going to call the whole squad, the whole Paralympics together. All right, here it is. Take it as you want it. I'm still a virgin. Let that shit marinate. And then in true lady fashion, right, there's always gonna be a plot twist. Ladies, they don't want the shine to be on one woman, right? They want the shine, right? They'll be, she'll be coming like, yeah, that's not, so, that's not so bad. I'm also a virgin as well. Plus also, I'm bisexual. Because you know it's all about a competition. Then the first one comes out and says, listen, I've only kissed two guys in my lifetime. How can you top that? Then she comes back the second one saying, I only kissed half a man. Then Michelle comes back yet again with another response in bidding to reclaim her throne and says, I've never seen a man naked. Guess what her friend's response is? She has never seen not even herself naked. And there goes the whole squad, the whole Paralympics. She done diddly do take the cake, boy. And also you had sex six months ago, sweetheart. Vagina Titan gel doesn't count. <laughs> so I know everybody's wondering why I brought you all here. And uh, I just had something that I wanted to share. Wiener, um. wiener, 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 wiener. So I just wanted to say it and just kind of say it out and then be done with it. Wiener, 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 I, f I think that maybe she will find, I don't know, right? She'll be here the next day. Hey, Michelle, I heard you're a virgin. Like, where you hear that? You went through and told the whole community, me. There's no coming back from that. I guess someone has going to be some takers. All right. But I'll leave the link in the description if you want to check out the full video on TLC. I mean, I'm pretty sure they're going to 100% claim this shit. But you know me, boy, I'm the Olympian. And I always go for gold, boy.